And out of the Trump presidency, President Trump is meeting with his South Korean counterpart this hour. Here's a live look at the White House right now. We are awaiting President Moon Jae-in's arrival. They're expected to participate in a working lunch before wrapping up the visit. They were supposed to compare notes for Mr. Trump's upcoming summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. But now there's uncertainty whether that summit will be able to go on as planned. South Korea's president flew to Washington, D.C. in an attempt to save the summit. CBS 4's Angelica Alvarez has the latest for us from the White House. South Korean President Moon Jae-in will visit the White House today in an attempt to keep the North Korean summit with the U.S. on track. Is this summit with North Korea on June 12th going to happen? Well, as the president often says, Martha, we'll see. North Korea raised the prospect of canceling the summit over objections to joint U.S.-South Korean military exercises and remarks made by the National Security Advisor John Bolton when he compared Trump's plan to the Libya model. I think we're looking at the Libya model of 2003-2004. We're also looking at what North Korea itself has committed to previously. Libya's government collapsed eight years later after giving up its nuclear weapons and leader Muammar Gaddafi was overthrown. North Korean state media issued a statement today saying dialogue and saber rattling can never go together and will chill the atmosphere before the planned U.S.-North Korean summit. The White House says President Trump is still committed to holding that summit on June 12th, but will walk away if North Korea isn't ready to completely abandon its nuclear program. What the president's made clear is that we need complete and verifiable and irreversible denuclearization. The U.S. plans to keep up all economic and military pressure on Pyongyang. Just today, the USS Milius, an advanced guided missile destroyer, arrived in Japan to protect against any ballistic missile attacks by North Korea. Angelica Alvarez, CBS News, the White House. Now, President Trump has said he is willing to give Kim Jong-un assurances the U.S. will not try to overthrow his government if it agrees to a deal.